Hey, Mary, it was a pleasure speaking with you earlier today. Um, this is uh, just a quick video I'm going to shoot for you and your business. Uh, basically, I'm just going to be showing you um, a couple of different things that you can start implementing into your uh, website to build up your online digital presence so that you can, so more customers can find you. So you're probably asking me why am I doing this and what's in it for me? Uh, basically, I found that many um, business owners like yourself or your affiliation there uh, is so busy with work that it's very hard to understand the internet and how it can help benefit your business. And so this video is just to help give you guys some content so that you can, uh, if you'd like to, just build up your own website or uh, build up your own online digital presence by yourself. I am, I'll be totally okay with that. However, however, if you'd like to learn more, all you have to do is just give me a quick call. Um, but that's completely up to you. So I'm just going to jump right on in and show you uh, a couple different things that you can start implementing into your website. And if you find this information valuable, um, you know, if you can see I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve that can help you guys out, you can just reach out. So I'm just going to jump right on in here. We're just going to be covering over three different things. Okay. So first is going to be content, backlinks, and citations. And we'll get in, I'll explain more as we go. So I have your website pulled up here. I have your competitor's website. I love your logo. That's a pretty cool logo. <laughs> I haven't seen one like that yet. I like the pictures. Your pictures are very high quality. Um, right here, I like that. Uh, good colors. And I really like this. This really, um, what it does is that it helps people to better trust you, especially considering like, you know, doing arborist kind of work. It's very dangerous. Um, so it's pretty important. Uh, also right here, we're going to look at your competitor's website which is Davies Proven Solutions for a Growing World. These guys do residential and commercial services. Um, uh, you can see here that these guys have a lot, a lot of content on their website, which is the first thing that we're going to be talking about. So Google likes to see um, between 1,500 and 2,000 words on your website in order for them to consider you a online authority. The reason why is because it helps uh, Google to know that you know what you're talking about and that you're able to help your customers make a more informed decision. Kind of like this right here, uh, how it has, says tree removal services, trust our bonded and ISA certified arborist for tree removal and tree cutting services. And it provides like a you know description of that shrub pruning services, storm prep and support systems for trees. Um, so Google highly evaluates that. And so over here, actually use a tool, it's called Arifs. And so uh, Arifs and Google, they're business partners. Uh, Google has a trawler that goes around and they look for specific certain things on the website. And Arifs just displays the analytical information that they find. And so uh, here is your website. I just took your domain, Bill Street Service, and I plugged it in. And this is what they found. So uh, here we see that you have 14 key words that people were searching for um, in contrast to your um, competitor. 14 is a little bit, but Google likes to see a lot more. So we can see here that your competitor, Davey.com, these guys have 25,000 uh, keywords that are, um, that are building up their, rep their reputation online. And so that's the first thing that Google is looking for is uh, the keywords. The next thing is going to be uh, referring domains. What's a referring domain? It's a domain or a website that quote unquote refers you. Um, so a good example of this is things like Yelp, Yellow Pages, um, Facebook, Google. Those are like the most popular ones. Um, so I can see here that you guys have 21, uh, which is a little bit. It's a little bit. Uh, right here, your competitors, these guys have 3.6 thousand. And so the reason why Google actually wants, uh, the reason why Google looks for these kind of things right here, a re referring domain or a citation, is because it shows them that you didn't just walk out the woods one day and you decided to cut trees. <laughs> because it actually is like a little skeptical in that sense. And so the more referring domains that you have, the more of a reputation that your company has with not just, you know, coming out of the woodworks, but it it's a other companies are able to actually uh, show that you are a reputable company. And so one thing that's pretty cool here, I can click on this 
and I can look at all of the different websites that are referring them and you can literally just like go in here watch this video again and copy all these and start implementing them into your own website uh, just to set up one of these uh, typically uh, takes between 20 and 30 minutes each uh, some of them you do have to pay for um, like I'm pretty sure with like yellow pages that's something you have to pay for and all that kind of thing um, but you, you can go in here and you can just totally like copy these guys and so uh, these are all those are all the referring domains that that they have and the last thing that we're gonna be talking about is like backlinks so what are backlinks backlinks are pretty important so we can go back over to your website the, the backlinks are all these different things right here okay so these are all the different links that are incorporated inside and outside of your website that builds up the internal structure so that people can find the services that they're looking for so you can see here if someone's looking for a certain or specific service they'll click here or if they want to learn more about what a certified arborist is they can click here or how they can contact you they can click there your uh, so you guys have 202 of those uh, backlinks and your competitor has 111,000 of those backlinks. Uh, backlinks are pretty important because it helps customers find what they're looking for in terms of service or product that you want to offer. So right here, your competitor, uh, they actually have this set up. This helps a lot because you can are able to incorporate a lot more of those um, backlinks this way. Like tree trimming and pruning services, someone can click there. Um, tree removal services, they can click there. If they want to learn more about what to expect with a arborist consultation, they can click there. So just a couple things um, that in terms of like backlinks and what that looks like. So we can see here you have we went through backlinks, referring domains, and keywords, and how that contributes to traffic. Um, and also here's your competitor right here, and these guys have 151,000, and their traffic value is uh, $485,000 per month. So that's just a good overview. Uh, I don't want to get into too much detail or like bog you guys down with information or anything, but hopefully you found this information valuable. And these again, these are things that you can incorporate into your own website so that you can do it uh, at your own pace, at your own time if you wish. However, if you'd like some help or if you just have a couple questions for me, all you have to do is just give me a call. My name is Brandon. You can give me a call at 704-476-6223. Thank you for your time.